Yes. It was made from the inside out. The bomb was implanted in one of their forearms. It's considered an honorable way for a Klingon to die. A suicide that takes an enemy with it. Which one of them was it? Duras's man. When we have more time, I will take you to the holodeck and demonstrate in more detail. Medical emergency! Deck 8! Room 142! dies data <sighs> well almost everybody do you believe that we are in some way alike sir in many ways i'd like to believe then it is all right for you to die because i will remain alive You know that I cannot grieve for you, sir. You will. In your own way. Jeremy, Wesley's father died on a Starfleet mission when he was younger than you are. Wes, your mother told me you were finding it difficult to talk to Jeremy. Why is that? I don't know. I just don't want to think about it anymore. All this has reminded me so much of that day. The day I told you your father had been killed. As I recall, Wesley, you took it very well. My parents had told me about the dangers of Starfleet missions. I knew it could happen. So you were prepared? <laughs> no, I wasn't prepared at all. How can anyone be prepared to hear that a parent is never coming home again? I tried to be what everyone expected of me. Brave and mature. Wesley, are you saying that you didn't want anybody to see what you were really feeling? Or 
what were you really feeling? Like somebody had kicked me in the head. Somebody? Go on. You've wanted to tell him for a long time. I was angry at you. Why angry? Why were you angry at me, Wesley? Were you angry at me because I was the one who had told you your father was dead? No. Then why? Because you led the mission. You came home and my father didn't. How long were you angry with the captain, Wes? For a long time. But not anymore, sir. Not even a little. So, Jeremy, you must be very angry at Lieutenant Worf. He was in charge of your mother's mission, just as Captain Picard was in command when Wesley's father was killed. Isn't that right? Worf came back. Your mother didn't. Why? Why weren't you the one who died? Why did it have to be her? He can't answer that. None of us can. Lieutenant Worf also lost his parents. They were killed in battle when I was six. When I was alone, humans helped me. Let me help you. The Marla Aster I knew and honored is not in this room, nor does she await you on the planet. She now only lives here and here. I'm intrepid. I just lost my security officers. What the hell is happening? Commander Rogue, you intrepid. Do you copy? Captain, we're being hailed. On screen. Ro, are you all right? They know. My security team was just beamed off. They planted an explosive on my shuttle. Beam her out of there now. There's some kind of inhibitor on the shuttle blocking her signal. If she gets closer, we might be able to get a lock on her. Ro, turn back toward the Titan. We need you to get closer. I don't have time to disarm it. Sir, she's moving away from us. Bro, what are you doing? Jean-Luc, 
It's up to you now. You finish what I started. She's heading for the Intrepid's port in a cell. No, don't do this. I'm giving you what you gave me all those years ago. A fighting chance. Ro, I, I do see you. Everything. Forgive me. It's only now. Bro? I'm not going without everyone. Find a way out of this. You heard her. Go. Go! Ruffin, get out of here. Not a chance. Captain. Captain. Mm. No, no. It's, it's not my ship anymore. It's yours. You have the con. Seven of nine. Our target the strike. With pleasure, Commander. Give it everything we've got. Protecting these solids, you don't belong with them. You belong with us. Auto destruct in three minutes. Let go. Don't you see? You've lost. It's too late for you to help them, but it's not too late to help yourself. Think with me, Odo. We can escape together. I don't think so. Auto-destruct in two minutes. You've got to regain control of the ship. Oh, no. I never wanted to harm you. How's that? You know, I once bought a suit from Garrick. Turns out the sleeve was a little long. I remember being angry when I brought it back to be fixed. Is there a point to this story? If I'd known he was so dangerous, I never would have complained. Do you think he'll get the other Cardassian? I hope not. I don't want to get him myself. I don't blame you. Still off with my friend. We're at the academy together. Uh, she was my sparring partner. First time we faced off. I remember thinking maybe I ought to take it easy on her. She ended up taking me down so hard and knocked the wind out of me. The last time I ever pulled a punch with her, she 
had this one two combination a faint to the right, backhand and chop to the neck, fake me out every time. But that spoon head gives me the chance. Maybe I'll just try that out on you. I think Stoltzoff would have liked that. I can't get this loose. Give me the coil spanner, would you? What does it look like? It's got two pointy things on the end. coil spanner for him. I just turned my back for a second. That's a shame. And the worst part of it is, this isn't a coil spanner. It's a flock. into the weapons system. You're disabling them. For God's sakes, Neelix, back off. Neelix, back off. We're in transporter range, Captain. Voyager to Paris. Tom, can you hear me? We're energizing now. Transporter room two, do you have him? We have him, Captain. He's all right. It's the Kazon ship, Captain. Return fire. Janeway to Tuvok, are you in engineering yet? The doors are sealed. We're working on it, Captain. Bridge to transporter room two. Lock onto Mr. Jonas in engineering and beam him out of there. Aye, Captain. All I got was his comm badge, Captain. Captain, we've lost weapons. It looks like the phaser rays have been disabled from engineering. Evasive maneuvers, Ensign. Mr. Kim, get those weapons back online. 